Hey y'all, so it's been a while since we've taken a video because we have had so very much going on that we just have not had time to stop. But I did want to give y'all an update. So today, I want to show y'all some of what we've got going on. So I'm out here in the back field. This is the uh, kind of the what we call the enclosure area and it's kind of a good place to put collect stuff that we're going to burn or that we're just going to get rid of or that we think we can use for other resources later in other ways. It's on the other side of where the donkeys are. So they like to break the fence down. We're actually trying to find a way to secure this fence better. They like to actually bust the fence out and come in here and every now and again we will come in here and they'll be waiting for us to say hello. Today, what we're looking at is this building. So it looks really, really rough. We're gonna have to do a lot of work. We're gonna take this off the trailer and we are going to move it to the front, fix it up, make it look nice and paint it and turn it into a chicken coop. So right now we're gonna take measurements and see how big we need to make the new foundation to put it on thing that's first is the roof like that is definitely going to need some better reinforcement and strap down better from this side here you can see that it's bowed right there that is going to need fixed a little bit that's a one-way window and then up there that top there has come up and then there's some metal that could definitely be secured and it looks like we either could trim this or perhaps even when we put it on the ground, just widen it somehow. But there's not a lot of excess on that end, so that might not be possible. I'm not sure yet. We're still figuring this out. This is our first real good look at this structure to see what we can do with it. All right. Before we open the door, let's take some measurements. We're not keeping the trailer, just the little building. So it's smaller on this side. That's the door right there. So it's a lot smaller. So it's skinnier here and wider up there. And it just sits on the trailer foundation has a window looks like that window needs some repairs too or maybe just take the window out and put in wire mesh and shutters all right measurements looks like it's gonna be easier to work on the back side to take measurements so let's start here and measure from well this is the out it's not where the foundation is though it's down there so it's in line with this board so let's use these boards to our advantage that's where the bolts and everything are So that's the foundation. And this sticks out about 10, 10 and a half, maybe 11. About 11 inches, 10 and three quarters ish out. All right, now we're going to measure the length and I'm thinking that's my point right here stick that in there that's a good hook right there the nail's gonna help me this is gonna be maybe a half inch off at the most we're just gonna measure this length 
and this is actually the end of the building and it is oh 11 feet 11 inches maybe you could say 12 feet because remember there was like that little bit down there so you could say 12 feet almost exactly in fact i'll bet it was probably built to be 12 feet so all right outside dimensions so that's how big the foundation needs to be so let's open it up and see how bad the inside's gonna be here tires are flat okay that was kind of creepy <laughs> Like there's a handle of some sort chain to keep it from going too far the whole thing is moving I don't know if you can see this or not interesting okay so that might need some reinforcements possibly it is a step this is not a step I think it's just there so we're not going to use that that stays but that that's part of the building this is screwed in place for some reason I don't know what it's doing maybe just as a door spacer for the door all right inside it's got we're gonna clean this out empty it out all this stuff is gonna be bundled up safely but there's some shelves in the corner there and those and then these shelves here are already built in. So just looking at the structure and the roofing. Let's ignore all the stuff. Looks like there's a couple holes and things. And it's just all a wooden framework already pre-made pre so yeah definitely workable and this is the window on the inside so I can see that too it's a plastic metal probably it just eliminate that altogether all right that floor does not feel so sound but it's part of the trailer not the building so it's going to stay and we're going to actually build a new floor so another project we've got going on this is the other thing i wanted to show you today actually and please forgive the mess back here, everybody. It has oh, been a while since I've worked on this, but check this out. This is our neighbor. He's fabulous. He is actually doing me such a blessing right now. He's coming out and tilling up our field for us this year, so we don't have to hand till it. God bless this man. So, say hi, donkeys. Hi, babies. What you doing? Oh, is it a big scary tiller? They're fascinated. They're not sure what this thing is. Gabe's gonna check it out. He's the brave one. Leading the way to investigate. I'm gonna see what this thing is. Oh, Gracie's following now. Pretty baby. Gosh, they're beautiful. Say bye. <laughs> what are you doing? You're taking away all the grass. Why? You don't understand. Why? <laughs> oh. 
All right, y'all. I'm going to get some better pictures of this garden once we're done tilling. So now I'm by the back door. We're on the back patio, and this is the other area I wanted to show y'all. So there's the back area that we just saw, the chicken tower and the barn. And when I was looking through the fence and you saw the tilling, this is the, you could kind of see back behind the trees, the area that he tilled. So we're going to get some measurements of that. But my estimate is we've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's about seven fence lengths apart all together. That's eight, including the first pole. And uh, those are almost exactly 10 feet apart. So that's going to be 70 feet. And I'm going to measure it, but my guess, the barn is 20 feet. The gate is three feet, the tower is four feet, and there's about four more feet. So four, eight, plus, so it's about 10 plus 20. It's gonna be about 30 feet wide, right in there. So that's a 30 by 70 garden, approximately. Now you'll notice that this other garden is also gonna be, a, there's about a 20, like up closer to me where those grow bags are right there. And then from that gate post to the corner there is about 20 feet. And it's the same width. It's, it's maybe 10 feet longer. So that is going to be a 20 by approximately 80. So he's over here tilling this area. And it goes from, what's it, 1, 2, 3, 4 to the tree there. So that's 40 feet. And then going the other way, those aren't quite 10 feet. They're about 4 feet apart, I think, right in there. So that's going to be 4, 8, about 12 feet to the post on the end and then you got the white area those are let's see those are about five feet so five ten fifteen that's about twenty added so twenty about thirty for the shorter end right there and then going this direction it's ten twenty thirty 40 on the where it stops at the tree and then another 10 for the rest of it and uh, Yeah, we're gonna have all this tilled up Right in there Get all that tilled up really good now this area under the trees that I was talking about the 20 by 80 That's where we're gonna put our some mounds That's gonna be all mounds right under there so I figure we could put two mounds, kind of, to, if I can zoom in, to the right of that tree, and two mounds to the left of that tree, and then there's some uh, a row right there on the left side that I kind of want to keep that row, and then to the left of that row, kind of in line with that pecan, we could put several more mounds, like two or three, maybe four. And then on to the left of this last tree, right there, I'd like, we, I'm thinking maybe three rows. And I think we could do three rows of okra right there and it would work really good because the okra loved that spot er y y last year. So, I don't know if you could hear all that over the tractor. I tried to talk loud. <laughs> God bless wonderful neighbors, fabulous people. Sometimes you have to look at resources that you have on hand and, and trust people and, and just trust in God to provide when you can't do it yourself. So we're getting a late start, but this might help us get back on track. It's all filled up. So let's count the bricks down here. That'll give me a good idea on this front side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So the short side here is going to be twenty-five. Those are about 10 feet apart there, so 10, 20, 30. So this sorter section here is about 25 by 30. That down there is going to be approximately 20 minus the 10 by 10 square where the tree is. That little tree. 
down there. And then, so 20 wide, and then lengthwise, they're longwise from east to west. So it's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and again, minus that 10 by 10. So it's a 50 by 20 minus 10 square feet, and a 25 by 30 right in there. Okay. All right, we're over here now under the trees by where the, uh, where the central coop is, but on the other side. So this is 20, approximately, so 10, 20, 20 feet there. So it's 20 wide for sure. So we've got 10 feet from that pole corner there to that one before we hit the tree. So this is 10 by 20 area right here. So if we did 10 by 10s, then that's two mounds. So skipping to the other side of the tree, and we could probably get a mound. This tree, the workable area, takes up another 10 feet. So we could probably put a mound in front and behind. Now, by the way, that's where the uh, log starts. I, I don't know if you can see the log or not, but it starts right there. But there's another 10, five, eight, about eight feet on the other side there. So that's an eight by 10 back there. And then going, starting from that T post there, you got 10, 20, about 30 feet before you hit the next tree. So the area in between the two trees is going to be a 20 by 30. So it's as big almost as that area over there. Alright, now we get to this tree. This tree is closer to the front. It takes up about five feet. I got a grow bag in front of it. So the area in front of it, I wouldn't worry about. But the area behind it is about 20 feet. So there's 20 by 10 behind this tree. And then there's another 20 feet going this way. So you got another 20. Actually, almost looks like 30. I don't think these fence posts here are quite 10 feet all the way apart. I'm thinking they're closer to 8 feet. Which would make sense that because that's going to be about 24 and the garden probably gets like a little bit bigger as it goes this way. But because I just went from T post to T post when I did it, I didn't even measure really. <laughs> but okay, so we've got probably what's about a 24 or 20 on this end by and those are measured. Dad did those. Those are 10 feet apart for sure. Guaranteed. So 20 by 24 or 20 by 20 approximately so I'm thinking a rows here they were set up as three rows last year and the okra loved it I'm thinking put rows back there so I had last year put tomatoes here this was the Cherokee purples and we had rows established over here, which we could just carry through again. They're kind of actually more like little mounds already. So, but they were tomatoes that I had in them. This one had cantaloupe. They did not do good. But the tomatoes were great. And they were just all down this, all the way down to that tree down there. So I know that tomatoes would support this. Now, we get to this back area. Might be a tomato plant there. And there, I might have some tomatoes coming back up. I don't know. And by the way, the log stopped tw about 20 feet from the end here. They go all the way down otherwise. So back there, we already established that that's going to be about a 30 by, and those are 10 feet apart. Again, Dad put those in. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65 ish. Yeah, 65 ish. Exactly about 65 ish. Because I'm thinking that first post there looks like about half the distance. And the last post is, that's probably about five feet there. So, yeah. So, what I want to do this year is I did some measurements. And if I was to separate the fence where this nasty section is here. Right here. This overlaps. This is actually two fences right here so here's the end of one fence somewhere in this area <laughs> no over here here's the end so here's where they connect right here 
So we could take and separate this fence right here and I already measured it. The other one goes all the way to this T post. So we could just swing this whole fence, separate this post, separate that post, separate that post and leave the corner post attached. And this whole fence should push and swing out and enclose right at the end there. And what that'll do is leave us the rest of this pretty much where the junction is right from here and that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 feet that we can use as supports. Looks like we got some trees we gotta get up, but we could use them otherwise as supports for tomatoes or vining plants. So that might be something to keep in mind too. Okay, man, we still got a lot of work for ourselves. Uh, we're gonna have to hand till these trees the branches were too low and the tiller couldn't get back in here so fun funness oh look i got a row of radishes look at my beautiful radishes these came back it looks like these are some of these are darn near ready to pull up now we've had some good rain early in the year these just look spectacular that's where i had the bell peppers last year they did okay they did okay i've seen better but they did okay. None of the grow bags worked for us last year. I think it was the water. I think they evaporated off. The dirt in these just got so dry and I could not keep it moist. That one's full of ants. <laughs> fun, that'll be fun when we get to that. All right. Say bye, Bantams. These little sea brights. Y'all doing okay? Has Scamp quit tormenting you? Has Capone quit tormenting you, Scamp? Bye, everybody. It was fun showing you everything. I hope you enjoyed looking at it all. We got some high hopes for this year. Keep us in your prayers. I think we're going to need all the strength and courage and hope and peace and... Just you name it, we're probably going to need it. If you want to get updates about our progress and how we're doing on all of this garden project this year, I need you to go ahead and subscribe now and hit that notification bell so that they come through right away. Be sure to like this video too. It'll show you more videos like this as well as more of my videos. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me, y'all.